Hank's auctioned his bag with some great old Star Wars stuff up for auction. There's some really rare stuff here. Stuff I've never seen before. First shots, prototypes, even store displays. Let's take a look at them. Get your wallet out because it's time to look at some stuff currently on auction over at Hank's auction website. If you don't know this company, they always have some great stuff up for auction. Not just Star Wars, but they always got some really good stuff, especially pop culture stuff. And they've got a slew of Star Wars items going for auction right now. I don't know if they're all from the same collector or not. Probably not, because this is some really rare stuff. We're talking some really crazy stuff. And I thought I would pull up about 25 of the best ones and tell you what they're currently going for. Some of these are currently going for thousands of dollars. Some, low hundreds. So maybe you get something cool. There's a lot of stuff on this auction. Most of it's kind of common, like just figures and figures on card. So I'll pull it out the rarest, the coolest ones. I thought we'd take a closer look. Let's do that. Let's start right here with this 1978 store header display. Look at it. The original 12 figures on it. Even Jawa with a vinyl cape. Right now, the current auction for this is $5,000. It's pretty cool if you ask me. I don't know if I would spend $5,000 on it. Maybe if I was a rich man, but it still looks pretty neat. Here's another display. This one is known as the Bell Hanger Store Display. It usually goes on a rack at the top of it. It's both pictures on both sides, and you can see it's got the original 12 figures also. A vinyl cape Jawa and a couple other ones. Looks really, really cool right there. And currently bid for this is $566. Not that bad, but I expect it's gonna go up a lot. And you got another store display. This is a little hanger that would go on the shelves of stores showing three new action figures. A, a Tusken Raider, I was gonna call him Death Star Commander, Death Squad Commander, and a Jawa. Now you're saying, well, I thought the original 12 came out. How are these new? Well, actually, although they caught the first 12, Three of them was a little late coming to storage. So you got the original run, and then you got these three added a little later, but they still qualify as the first 12. Anyway, this hanger right now is up on auction for $2,483. Just a little piece of plastic. Who would have thought by then to say that? Just a little piece of plastic you stick on a shelf. Now, they're not all store related, but here's another self talker. Goes on the shelf. This is one of the first uh, promotional items, I guess you'd call it, or um, point of sales. They like to call it POS for stores one of the very first ones you can get it now for 632 dollars this is another one i expect to go up maybe not too much because no figures on it or anything but i still i bet it's going to push over a thousand and here's one i'm sure you all know the early bird package this is the famous box that has nothing in it but i promise to get action figures later great condition right now the bids are at four thousand six hundred twenty dollars and yeah it's gonna go up this one's gonna go up and here's the actual early, early bird kit that would come in the mail with the figures. And yes, that's a double tip lightsaber loop. The one with the little tip, the tip also comes out. The standard figure, the tip would be there but wouldn't come out. I had one and it broke. I'll never have another one. I'm sure this thing is skyrocketed, this thing is skyrocketed in price. Um, luckily, I traded some Batman animated series figures for it back in the 90s. Well, I wish it didn't break. Right now, current bid, 900 and nine thousand three hundred and fifty dollars that's a lot of potatoes and here's one i think you guys probably heard about this i know i did a video on this is george lucas's favorite toy wasn't released in the u.s but a wind-up r2d2 it looks really cute It'd be kind of cool to have current current bid two thousand thirty two dollars that's crazy isn't it man must be nice to be rich and here's darth vader you don't recognize this Darth Vader? Well, it's a seven inch figure from Japan. It's very cool for sure. Let's look at the back of the card on this one. That looks cool, don't it? I love when they see like the vintage stuff that you really don't see that much. This thing just looks awesome, doesn't it? I love the look of this thing. Current bid at this, $1,210. This is another one I'm sure is gonna go up high. Check this out. Three rare Star Wars Jawa figures. Three variations. Final Cape Jawa, the one released in the U.S. We all know about that one. And look at the middle one right here. I've done a whole video about this one. Lily Lad, Lily, a Mexican figure released where the hood comes off. Yeah, the hood would actually come off the figure. This, this was released around Return of the Jedi times. You can see it comes with a gun that a lot of the Return of the Jedi figures came with. It doesn't come with the Jawa gun. And then there on the end is the Tile Toys Vinyl Cape Jawa, which has a cape that's a little different color. It matches more the Obi-Wan style color. Uh, a little different, but it matches more than that than the Jawa released in the U.S. 
three rare, rare figures for sure. Current bid on this one, $4,950. How about this one right here? Dip Dots. I'm going to say Dipping Dots. Dip Dots. It's a little paint kit that came back one of the earliest Star Wars things released because they just it was easy concept to make and get it out of the stores pretty fast. And here it is in package with current bid of $385. This one's kind of low. I don't know if it's, it might go up. I don't think it's going to go up crazy. I could be wrong. I don't know what these currently go for. But there it is. That kid's having fun. I know that. But I bet he said, dang, if I wish i known I could get almost $400 for this, I, I would have kept it and not painted it. Let's look at another. Another store display sign. This one's Empire Strikes Back. This has got the Hulk battle right there on it. But on the other side, look what's on the other side. That's cool, isn't it? That is cool. I know that is cool. Current bid on this, $1,650. For a piece of cardboard. Crazy, right? And check this out. Six figures with a display stand. Six action figures included. Luke Bestman. Leia Bestman. Lando. He's just Lando. You can go on Lando Bestman if you want to. A Bosk. A Hoff's Trooper. And FX7. FX freaking 7. If it was just FX, if it was just six FX7s in the box, it'd be worth it. Current bid on this one, $5,788. I don't really see this thing come up in auction much. But mm, we got some that I've never seen before, so let's move on. And speaking of never seen before, here it is. The mold to the micro collection Darth Vader. This is called a 4-Up. It's about three times the size of a micro collection. It's pretty big because they would, they would design it big and then scale it down for the toy line. But this is the mold. It looks pretty cool. Look at Darth Vader's head right there. You would have the mold. You can make as many as you wanted. And it's current build, $2,750. How about this one right here? A Yoda hand puppet. That's right. A Yoda hand puppet. First shot. Prototype. First shot. This is before we went into mass production when they said, okay, let's see if this looks. Let's see how it looks. Hadn't painted yet. Let's see what it looks like. There it is. And believe it or not, current bid of this one is $786. There's not many of these out there. Now, I've seen different ones out there, so they are out there, but they're in collector's hands and, you know, not something you're walking into the store and find. $786. Again, another one I'm sure is going to go up. Maybe not too crazy, though. But check this next one out. I did a whole video about this, but check it out. This was the mock-up card for... Revenge of the Jedi. Revenge at the time. They were going to change the look of Return of the Jedi's card. Well, the Star Wars cards. You know, from for Star Wars, the Empire of the Jedi, they all stayed about the same. Just changed the logo on the card. They was going to mix things up there. Look at that. Let's look at the back of it. As you can see, they just used it Empire Strikes Back back. But this thing currently right now, $6,000. Now, I've never seen one of these come up at auction. I'm sure they have before, but it's not. there's not many of these out there. This is one I'm, I'm going to keep my eye on this one because I'm curious what this is going to go for. But this next one, I've never seen an auction. I thought it was it's only like one of a kind. This is it. I believe there's only one of these. Made. I could be maybe two. I doubt it. I think it was just one of a kind. Let's take it. I did a whole video on this and I didn't have these good pictures to look at. Princess Leia. This is a concept design they were going to do. Now, the concept was kind of like a deluxe figure. Now, when they released this, it might not have been Princess Leia, or they might have done a whole bunch of different figures, including Princess Leia. But check it out. It's got an army hat on. Let's check out some more pictures. It's got a little hook on it. That's pretty cool. Check out the back of it. It's got some missiles on the back, so you can put it inside that little rocket right there. And there she is from another angle. So, like I said, this thing is extremely rare. So, what's the current bid on this one? Believe it or not, only two thousand dollars. Again, this auction had this thing's. I can't. This thing's gonna go up. I would be surprised if it didn't, because I. This is not something. If you have the money to spend on rare items, you're not gonna see this again, or it's gonna be a long time before you see it, because this is one of a kind. Check out this. This is the photo used for the card of Return of the Jedi, the weak way figure. There's a but. There's a few of these on the auction, and I just picked this one. I want to show you. Re, re, did I say reuse? Wicked. What? No. Wicked. What's his name? Weak way. Losing my mind. Wickway. Or Skiff Guard, you could call him a Skiff Guard. Currently priced on this one, $1,000. $1,000. Just a photo that was used uh, for the cards. How about this one? Gold Darth Vader carrying case. Everybody's heard about this one. It was on the cover of that Stan Sansweet book back in the 90s. And that's really when people started learning about this thing that was never released in stores. They was testing the paint for the upcoming 3PO release. And there's about 100 or maybe more than that that... that that they tested so you got a gold one you got some different color ones also but this is this a lot of people know about this one what's current bid on this one one thousand three hundred and fifty five dollars here's another store display look at the battle return of the jedi 
that's pretty cool. I, mean, I guess they was promoting the Wild Wing because it was a new ship at the time. But here it is. I believe the same thing on the back of this one. And what is this going for? $2,088. I can't believe it. It's going for more than a concept Princess Leia figure that's one of a kind. Crazy. And here's Anakin Skywalker. You're like, Jumpman, why are you just showing me a Power of the Force figure of Anakin Skywalker? No. This is first shot. This is, you know, like when they make the figure and they say, hey, it's kind of like a prototype. It's kind of like the final thing. Okay, this is what we're going to make. It does change the, the cloak part of them. It looks like a little different color. But, of course, extremely rare. There are not going to be many first shots out there. So what's the current bid on this one? $2,420. Again, that's a lot of potatoes. And speaking of Anakin Skywalker, here's the photo used for the Power of the Force card. That's kind of cool right there. I like that. What's it going for? $1,760 is the current bid. Now let's look at some oddball stuff. How about this? A Japanese puzzle, still sealed, still in the box. That's a cool photo. It just looks kind of odd. I've never seen this photo before. And the uh, trooper just looks kind of... Just weird how they place the trooper on that one. This one right here, right now, you can bid. Current bid is $139. Not too bad. If you want something rare, something weird on your collection, something to pick up. How about this one right here? Darth Vader. That's Darth Vader, Japanese die-cast figure. This, this is cool, right? This is cool. Let's look at that out of the package. Because this one, I guess the box isn't sealed. You can take it out. Very cool looking, for sure. Current price on this, $302. Not bad. I can't believe it. $302. And look at this. A bag of, I don't know, a bunch of Star Wars toys in a bag. Also released in Japan. I've never seen this thing ever. I've never seen this. Is this a little land speeder? Maybe an R2? It's kind of weird. I would like I like the weird stuff. This is kind of neat right here. And current bid for this is $200. I'm curious what this is going to go for because I've never seen anything like this. It's weird. And here's a Spanish release board game for... Droids. I've never seen this one either, so I'm curious what is current bid? $200. Again, not too bad. $200. But you're saying, Junkman, what's the highest thing going right now? The Vinyl Cape Jawa is the early bird collection. Nope. It's not a Vinyl Cape Jawa. It's not an early bird. It's not a double tip saber. It's not a prototype. It's not a first shot. It's not nothing run of kind. What is the current thing that's going so high right now on this auction? It's a tri logo, General Medine. Try logo General Medine. What's the current bid at this thing right now? $23,000. Oh, excuse me. $23,100. General Medine Try logo. Now, I don't know how rare. I don't know that much about Try logos or enough to know which ones are the rarest of the rarest, but that's just crazy. $23,000 for General Medine. I mean, if I had $23,000 to spend on a Star Wars auction, I think there's a lot more cooler stuff I could buy. Like that Princess Leia prototype. That would be awesome to have. Whew. Anyway, I'll put a link in the description so you can check out the site if you want to bid on something. Now, I'm going to kick back from them or anything. I just thought it was pretty neat to look at. But I'll put a link in the description below. And maybe if you want to, we'll do a follow-up. We'll pull up these same 25 items and see what they sold for. That could be fun. Oh, anyway, thank you for watching. Thumb up and subscribe. You know all that. We'll talk again soon. Hey, jump man channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.